Hey everybody, it's Ron from Pick Dogs, and this is Ron's Bank Shot Breakdown. We're going to go over four college basketball games for Friday, January 20th, 2023. Now, if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put your college basketball picks in the comment section below. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can always find those at the Premium Picks tab at PickDogs.com. Alrighty, let's get into it. Here are the games for Friday in college basketball. First up, we go to the MAAC. It's going to be Canisius and Fairfield. This one's 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPN+. Plus. I'm going to take Canisius again in this spot. We've taken them quite a few times over their last few games, and they've won some games outright. They're 3-1 and one overall in their last four games, all in conference play. This was a team that scheduled a very tough non-conference schedule. A lot of true road games against some solid mid-major teams, as well as some Power 5 teams also. And, uh, you know, although they didn't play too well in those games, it was just going to set them up nicely for conference play, really get them ready to go and prepared. And now this is a team that's still playing pretty well on the road. Their two of their last three wins have been in true road games like we see in this one. So they're not intimidated to play away from home. You're playing a Fairfield team. It's just not really trustworthy on the offensive side. You know, ranked 342nd in effective field goal percentage, 303 in adjusted offensive efficiency. I think we still have some room for positive regression for Canisius on really both sides of the ball, even you know in the middle of conference play. They're playing good basketball, their best basketball of the year. They're not afraid to play on the road. I'm going to take Canisius and the points in this one. I wouldn't be surprised to see them earn another outright victory. Next up, we stay in the MAAC as Iona takes on Manhattan. This one's going to be 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPN+. You know, Iona has lost two of his last three games while Manhattan is on a two-game win streak. Because of those recent results for both of these teams, I think we're getting a lot of value and a really good price with Iona in this spot, laying the points on the road. Iona's not playing its best basketball of the season, that's for sure. Losing to Quinnipiac 81-58 on the road and then losing by three points to Ryder at home is very concerning. But I still think Iona is one of the better defenses in all the mid-major conferences, let alone this conference. And I also think their offense is pretty sharp as well. Iona has great, a great ability to force a lot of tough shots, but also a lot of tough uh, decisions from opposing teams. And they force a lot of turnovers. Manhattan, that's not what you want to see. I mean, Manhattan's ranked 326th in turnover percentage on offense. They have issues taking care of the basketball. So I do think Iona's defense is going to have a great night in this game. I also think Iona's going to be able to score on this pretty weak Manhattan defense, ranked 303 in the nation in adjusted defensive efficiency. One of the worst defensive rebounding teams in all of college basketball. Iona should get uh, plenty of second chance opportunities, plenty of good looks on the floor as well. And they should be able to score 80 plus points in this game and be able to cover the number in the end. Like I said, because of these recent results for these two teams, because of my owner's upset losses, Manhattan winning those last two games, this price is as good as it's going to get. And I'm going to lay the points here with the Gales here on the road. Next up, we see Boise State taking on New Mexico. This one's going to be 11 o'clock Eastern on Fox Sports 1. You know, we know Boise State as a very good defensive team. Right now, they're ranked 10th in the country in adjusted defensive efficiency, and they're playing great defensively in the conference. But you got to watch out for this Boise State offense, in my opinion. You look, Boise State's on a five-game win streak, and that's very tough to do in these types of conferences like the Mountain West that are very competitive from top to bottom of the standings. But Boise State, although their defense is in great form, the offense is also getting it done. I mean, you look at their games, there have been a lot of blowout wins, double-digit wins, because the offense is scoring 80-plus points. I mean, they scored 80-plus against Utah State, UNLV, and Wyoming. They also scored 77 points against a very good Nevada defense that's ranked 62nd in the country and adjust the defensive efficiency so you know Boise State's offense is in great form even better form than the defense and now you're playing against a New Mexico team that plays very fast pace a very good offense themselves it's ranked 47th in adjusted offensive efficiency shoots the ball well gets to the free throw line takes care of the basketball all the things you need to score plenty of points consistently New Mexico does it and they're very tough to beat at home they're scoring points against really tough defenses themselves we saw them score 76 points on the road against San Diego State of all teams one of the best defenses in the country. So I think we're going to see a high-scoring game in this one, a game that plays at the pace of New Mexico in the pit. This could be an entertaining game. I'm going to take the over in this Boise State-New Mexico ball game. Next up, the final game we're going to talk about for Friday's card is going to be between Villanova and St. John's. This one's going to be a 7 o'clock Eastern start time on Fox Sports 1. So you can watch this game first and then that Boise State-New Mexico game. You know, Villanova has not played well this season. They're 3-5 and five in conference play. They're 9-10 and 10 overall. But they do have a win over the St. John's team. And I know it's a revenge spot here for St. John's. I wouldn't be surprised to see St. John's win it. But I do think this is a lot of points to give 
against a Villanova team that beat you by 15 points and did it in a pretty sustainable way. I mean, Villanova only shot 6 of 19 from 3 in that game, 31.6%. Nothing crazy there. Uh, St. John's only had six free throw attempts. So Villanova played really good defensively, didn't take too many fouls. You know, the, the rebounding numbers are a little bit concerning where St. John's had a 14 to four offensive rebounding advantage in that one. But Villanova is a good defensive rebounding team. I don't think it's going to be an issue in this game and going forward for the Wildcats. Uh, you know, Villanova takes care of the basketball. They get to the free throw line and they are number one in the country in free throw shooting percentage as a team. So I think Villanova can do enough to keep this game close. I think their defense is underrated. I do think St. John's is a very tough team to play right now. They're coming off a big win over UConn, uh, 85 to 74 on the road. We know St. John's does not play very well on the road. That was an impressive win. But I do worry about laying this kind of number against a Villanova team that already beat St. John's this season. I'm going to take the points here with Villanova. I think St. John's wins. I think Villanova covers. And that's it. Those are the games for Friday in College Hoops. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to put your college basketball picks in the comment section below. Again, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. As always, this is Ron Romanelli. Good luck.